Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I bought a bunch of ponytails off of Amazon. Since we're all bored in the house, we're in the house bored, I thought I might switch up my hairstyle, actually attempt to get ready today and do some like fun ponytails as if I was going somewhere. So in today's video, I got some different colored straight ponytails. I got an ombre one. I even feel a little crazy and got a silver like gray ombre. Then I got a long curly one and then a super long curly one. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna have some fun. So this is a super easy protective style for our curly hair. As many of you know, I am very against straightening our curly hair to just avoid any type of damage at all. So what you could do is you put your natural hair up into a very small bun and then you just clip on a straight ponytail and then you don't have any damage and it's probably a lot longer than your actual straight hair. So let's get started. So starting off, it's best to get that super slick down ponytail fresh out the shower when your hair is wet. My hair is a little dry now that I've been putting on my makeup. Let me just re-wet it real quick. So now that my hair is damp once again, this is a good time to either put a leave-in conditioner or a deep conditioner. So you can low key be deep conditioning under your ponytail and nobody has to know. So what do I wanna to use today? I think I'm gonna use a leave-in conditioner because I just recently deep conditioned. I'm gonna use this leave-in by Design Essentials Natural. It's their almond and avocado leave-in conditioner, silicone free. It has a really good smell actually. Get some extra moisture. All the ponytails that I'm gonna show you today were super affordable. I'm talking $9.99 to my most expensive one was maybe $15.99 or $16.99. All right, so now that my hair is nice and moisturized and detangled, I'm going to put it up in a high ponytail. We want this to be as slick back as possible. So I'm gonna grab a bristled brush that's like pretty coarse. You want to be like really firm and have these kind of bristles. That's usually the best to get that really flat look or like a paddle brush. So I'm just going to see that. Smooth it back. I'm gonna use the Stronghold Slick and Snatch Gel by Pattern Beauty. Smooth that down. And before I get too slickety snatched, I am gonna kinda leave out some of my edges. We'll make those cute later. Now I'm getting the Scrunchie by Goody. This is their Outlast Forever Bands. They literally last you forever because they don't break any other scrunchie I have trust issues with. So now that we've got our high ponytail, I'm now gonna do a simple basic braid. Ta-da! Should look like that. Now we're going to hide this braid and put it into a very tight bun. So we want it to be as flat and tight as possible. Tuck it underneath and then get some bobby pins and hold it in place. Now I gotta slick down these baby hairs. Now I don't know if all this right here, if this is new baby hair growth or if this is postpartum breakage, but it's kind of worked in my favor as baby hairs. So <laughs> I'm just making it work. I don't know where they came from. So I still forgot to buy the pattern edge control. I gotta do that. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna use the Stronghold gel again for my edges. So now we can start attaching our ponytails. Who should we start with first? So before I put it on, you're gonna wanna brush it out so it's, you know, it doesn't look like it just came out the bag. Oh, straight hair. Isn't it crazy how you could brush it while it's dry? <laughs> what a concept. 
All right, so I'm going to strap these little clips right under my bun. Then I want to try to make it tight enough so that the Velcro reaches, but it doesn't seem to reach. And then we're going to wrap this hair around the black so you don't see it like that. So now we're gonna grab another bobby pin and pin that little extra wrapped hair in place so it doesn't unravel. So there you go. We have our little strip of hair covering the band. Clip on inches. So I don't know if I'm in love with this ponytail with the little like mesh clip because if I just lift this, you see my braid. So it's a little, it's a little risque. So for some extra coverage, I would get a bobby pin and stick it into that mesh. For a $9 ponytail, it gets the job done. I should have got a darker color to better match my hair, but um, yeah, easy. Ariana Grande, $10 vibes. Now let's add some earrings to complete the look. Ta-da! Super cute. <laughs> ponytail number one. Okay, now let's try a ombre straight one. Let me take off the tag, but that's a slight giveaway that it's not my real hair. Okay, this is another one with the clip and the little patch. This one's a smaller cover up and here is the hair to cover it. Oh no, I feel like I'm brushing my Barbie's hair. You know how Barbie's hair would be tangled all the time? Oh no, this doesn't look good. Can you put product on wigs? Let's put some leave-in conditioner. She's a little dry. Oh, huh. that kind of worked. And ombre. I really like the ombre color of this. This is a much better match to my actual hair color. My little braided bun is just so thick that it's like peeking through and it's kind of hard to hide because these ponytails are pretty sparse. But I mean, that's why they're like 15 bucks. So I would call these Instagram ponytails. They're just cute enough to get a cute Instagram pic as long as you don't turn around. Lesson learned, still cute though. I just don't think Velcro was the smartest move for hair. Like it's messing up my bun. And for my last straight one is this crazy storm gray silver one. And this one has a clip and a drawstring. Yeah, this clip is not gonna. Oh, <laughs> it's fun though, but the clip's gotta go. So I'm just gonna pull it off of this clip because that's just not gonna work. Now that I took out the clip, it's just gonna be a nice little pocket for my bun to hide in. Ooh. Now I'm gonna use these drawstrings to tighten it. Ooh, now we're talking. Yeah, I'm definitely team drawstring ponytail because my buns are just too big. <laughs> I wish. Can I get little bangs? Not the bang, the bang, oh, oh. <laughs> definitely getting storm vibes. Get ready for Halloween fun. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So as you can see, you're getting much better coverage all around. All right, let's go back to curly hair. I got a short one and I got a long one. And not even really short. I got a long one and a longer one. Fluff it out a little bit. See, so you don't have to brush curly hair. It's just, just a little zhuzh, some volume. This is what I'm used to. Bring out the drawstring, clip it on over the bun, pull the drawstring, tighten it 
Oh, so much better. The end. Oh. <laughs> the curly one looks so good already. Oh, back to what I know. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. <laughs> yes, curls. Yes, volume ponytail. It even matches my hair perfectly. This is my favorite. Well, the long, long one might be, but this is a good length. This is cute. The volume just covers everything and it just makes more sense. <sighs> Team Curly all day. Y'all better hope I never get hair this long. Next time you wanna stunt on your Zoom call and you wanted to zhuzh up your bun, slap this on. Ho nubba level. And now for the final one, this is my long, longer curly one. So this one has a double clip and a drawstring. So that makes it really secure. So I can really do some crazy hair flips. Let's put the drawstring on the back. Let's get the clips. Clip it in the front of the ponytail. Cover up the bun. Ooh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh. Wow. I had to step back for this one. I can't even fit all this hair in the frame. Look how pretty these curls! I'm like, Meg the Stallion, like, oh, <laughs> put me in a music video. Put me in a music video. Like, the gardener's here, trying to mess up my video, and it looks so good that I don't even care. That's how good this looks. Ooh, I gotta go take some pictures! Best $16 I could have spent. I'll come back when the gardener leaves. Okay, gardener's gone. Where was I? You are about to lose your job. You are about to lose your job. Get this dance. I'm telling y'all, never let my hair get this long. I will not be a good person. So, I'm in love. This ponytail is just giving me life. Had to switch up the earrings to go with the swag. Today's Beyonce's birthday, the day I'm filming this. So I just like feel her energy. This is a 30 inch long ponytail in the color 1B, which is just black, I believe, even though my hair isn't, technically my hair isn't black, but it's the darkest brown you can get. It was only $15.98, not even $15.99, $15.98, Amazon Prime. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So in conclusion, the straight ponytails were definitely pretty. This one did not match my hair color. I love the ombre of this one, but I'm really not a fan of these clip-on ones. So if you guys are gonna buy any ponytails, especially if you have a lot of hair or thick hair and you have like a really big bun to cover, definitely look for ones that say drawstring. You want the drawstring that could just clip on over the whole thing so you can't see your braided bun. Like that is a major key that I did not think about. This is what I wanna be like a little more toned down, a little less savage. This is like a great her, my favorite singer, ponytail. It has more volume than this one, so volume, length. I'll link all these ponytails in the description box below. Let me know which one was your favorite if you've ever tried one before, if you're gonna try one because it's so easy to do so. Before you go, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Mm -hmm.